Hello and welcome to Business News. The Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, and NPC, has begun the open bidding process to select partners for the sale and purchase of natural gas liquids for both domestic and foreign markets. TVC News correspondent Real Abako reports. Nigeria's state-owned oil firm is now sifting through no fewer than 223 tenders to ensure only qualified companies emerge to take part in procurement of natural gas liquids from 2019 to 2021. Here at its headquarters in Abuja, bidders arrived early to submit their applications before the deadline. This is in line with requirements advertised by the NNPC. When the submissions were concluded, two copies in envelopes for each bid. Activities moved to the amphitheater located in Block A of the towers, where the sample bid was done. Group managing director of the firm, represented by the chief operating officer, Gas and Power, Seydou Muhammad, spoke to the purpose of the open bidding process. We are not this time around, we are not only focused about lifting and sending it out, but we are also focusing on maximum value within the nation. In other words, we want to use this kind of uh, event, this kind of uh, transaction, to propel the LPG market throughout the nation, grow the market to the level that it deserves. Today, Nigeria is the one of the lowest per capita consumption of LPG, simply because we cannot penetrate. And the only way to penetrate is to make, first of all, make the community available. Once we make the product available, then people will come and invest by way of storing it. As a necessary practice in corporate governance, external observers are also taking part in the process. What guides us is the public procurement law. And uh, for us, this is the best demonstration of the public procurement law because everything was done transparently, openly, and um, I think uh, it should be adhered to. Nasiru Onimisi is a bidder who got lucky earlier to have been part of the symbolic bid. They do uh, truth and fair bidding. Let me, let, me, let me say it like that. So, and I love the way it was conducted by the GMD. The bidding process is carried out periodically with a view to giving all willing parties a level playing field in the sale and purchase of natural gas liquid, both domestic and foreign. Cyril Abaku, TVC News, Abuja. Nigeria earns 289 billion naira from value added tax in the first quarter of 2019 as against 298 billion naira generated in quarter four of 2018. The amount represents a drop of 3.01% quarter on quarter and 7.13% increase year on year. According to the National Bureau of Statistics, manufacturing sector generated the highest amount of VAT of 31.42 billion naira, followed by professional services 24.31 billion naira, while commercial and trading generated 14.92 billion naira. Out of the total amount generated in quarter one of 2019, 137.06 billion naira was generated as non-import VAT locally, while 98.97 billion naira was generated as non-import VAT for foreign. The balance of 5.01 billion naira was generated as NCS import VAT. Malaysian government says it will send as much as 3,000 tons of plastic waste back to the countries it came from, the latest Asian country to reject rich countries' rubbish. The country's officials have identified at least 14 origin countries, including the United States, Japan, France, Canada, Australia, and Britain, for its unwanted waste sent under the pretext of recycling. Malaysia last year became the world's main destination for plastic waste after China banned its import, disrupting the flow of more than 7 million tons of uh, the trash a year. Dozens of recycling factories have cropped up in Malaysia, many without operating licenses, and communities have complained of environmental problems. Minister of Energy, Technology, Science, Environment and Climate Change, Yoo Bin, says 60 containers of trash that had been imported illegally would be sent back. 